That was terrible. That was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction. Mondays. Monday. All right. Christopher, you have the floor. Hey, guys, I wrote this while I was getting genital uppercutted by Delta yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happy Monday. Everybody good? Then they kicked him in the ding <laughs> What do you got? It seems like this is happening, so I'm like a soothsayer, but Jordan Love should hold out or hold in until he gets a new monster contract. Uh, I wouldn't hold out. Holding in is all he's going to need to do. This is going to get done. I have no concern. But holding in um, makes complete sense. You had this written before news yes, came out today. I wrote this uh, yesterday on the flight from Pittsburgh to Dallas. Of what he reportedly informed the team of over the weekend is yeah. that he's not practicing until he gets his contract. Which will, again, Mike Florio just left our program saying it's a midnight deadline league. We just don't know when midnight strikes in terms of this um, conundrum. I don't think it's week one. Uh, th- this will be done well before they're getting ready is, to go to Brazil. Is it done this week? I th- that I can't tell you. I don't know, but the fact that you know he won't guess. be out there with the ones in these practices if they reach that point, uh, I, I I don't know. But holding out won't happen. Holding in makes complete sense. I get it. Do we know if he's there? Is he in Green Bay? Uh, I'm today? assuming he's holding in. Yeah. yeah. What else? Uh, while you were gone, uh, we were talking to Mike Garofalo while he was golfing, and Brennan Ayuk asked for a trade, and then you get the report that they had uh, some offers before the draft. The Niners screwed this up, not trading Brandon Ayuk before the draft. Um, what were the offers before the draft? Uh, I think the Patriots offered a no. Forget num- it. A no. <laughs> what do you mean? Wow. They have a history of doing deals together. <laughs> the Patriots weren't going to offer third overall, so what are they going to offer? A, a, a second night pick for Brandon Ayuk? Get second, out of here. Second rounder, which was 30 whatever. So what? He's, I mean, a first, he's worth a first rounder right now. That's basically a first round pick. That's not basically. He's worth it's... a first rounder? How would he not be? Oh, interesting. You think he's a top 10 wide receiver? I think he's going to be paid like one That's, shortly. That was not my question. Uh, I'm Sure. I think he is. Sure. Eh, not confident. He's a first, He would be worth a first round selection on, on a draft night, just like A.J. Brown was. Oh, Brandon Ayuk's not as good as A.J. Brown. I think in, these day, in this day and age, you want to get somebody as good as him, you got to pay for it. There were five teams who were. Well, then maybe, and offers. maybe that's why the Niners didn't swap him out. Okay. And they use their first round pick on a receiver anyway. Then why do they make a move and get rid of this guy? I don't know. I'm just going to stop talking this All way. All right. Jeez. Don't yell at me. <laughs> Guys, you're, you're fighting, staring us apart. Stop. <laughs> How long is this going to go for real? Is he going to miss games? <sighs> I can't imagine it gets to that point. If it does, he might give the Jets fans what they want, which is not showing up for week one. So, yeah, just tell Sauce you got 19. Don't worry about 11. You don't have to worry about him. Jeez. Dream, that wouldn't be a bad. That wouldn't be a bad. That would be a, that'd be a nice break for the Jets. Yeah, dream scenario. What else? All right, you see the clip from Kansas City over the weekend. Mahomes rolls left, bombed to Xavier Worthy. Man, that looked good. David Worthy is going to lead the oh Chiefs in receiving yards this year. This is exactly what overreaction Monday okay. is all about. Is it? Guy runs the fastest 40 in the history of the combine. When we all yeah. knew he was going to the Chiefs. It and was, then he shows up. Day. We thought maybe the Raiders. And then he goes to the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Best quarterback in the league. Doesn't get out on the field during the spring. Worth a lick. Then he gets out in the summer. Catches one pass in practice. And it was completely viral over the and weekend. Then, right. And and then it's just now he's going to lead the team in receiving. Lead the Chiefs in receiving. Okay. Yeah, got no, it. No doubt. It won't be Kelsey. Nope. Uh, I mean, he's old. I mean, come on. Oh, my team, goodness. You know? Okay. That's an overreaction. You can't cover Worthy, Rich. You how are you going to cover him? You got Hollywood on one side. You got Kelsey uh, on the Here's how you cover him. And you got Worthy I, I, on the listen, other side. Listen, I'm not, I'm not doubting this is possible. Mahomes is going to run around I'm for a I'm calling this an overreaction. <laughs> Here's how you cover him. You knock him on his ass in the five yards in which you you're allowed him? to do He's it. He's too fast. Okay. Gone. Everybody, they you sign Quicksilver to come from the X Men to come quick cover. So him. you're you're <laughs> thinking happen. you're thinking Thursday night kickoff Ravens and that defense first in town. Game. First play of the game. Gone. And if not him, it's the it's the former Raven in Hollywood Brown. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Speed, Rich. You of all people know this. You cannot teach speed. You know this. I do know that. Come on. More than anybody. Because I haven't learned a damn thing. 
What else, Chris? <laughs> Rich, number one media market in the country is... New York City. Did you see the news that came out of Big Blue in New York City uh, over the weekend? Which is? Daniel Jones, ready for the go. start of camp. Ready to go. Ready Daniel to go. Jones, comeback player of the year this year. <laughs> I'm doing a 180 on Daniel Jones. What's this, this about? Is this for effect? I needed a topic. I needed a okay. football topic. You know, this guy. In his heart of hearts, he don't believe that, Rich. Comeback player of the year. Comeback player of the year for Daniel Jones. Okay. He's going to start week one. Everyone thought it was going to be Drew Locke. Week one. All, no, it's going to be him. All. He's got new toys. He's got Malik Neighbors. True. He's got Mo. When did Devin Singletary's nickname become Motor? Heard that for the first time during Hard Knocks. I have no idea. The motor is back there. I like that. Though. Let's go. Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most unsure. <laughs> Let me see yeah, sure. <laughs> what do we mean? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. We just did. Rich, did you just come up with lower register? No, no, no. You know, <laughs> no, it's I, kind I, of like just went lower. We mentioned not. Godfather Part Two before. It's like <laughs> Frank Pantangeli. Uh, John, uh, Michael Corleone said this. Uh, Michael Corleone said that. Yeah. Like, yeah, sure. I mean, all Aaron Rodgers has to do is show up oh. and play sixty percent oh. of an MVP oh. campaign. Oh. And he is your comeback player of the year. Dude, at age four, like, who, honestly, do you want to look up who's in pole position to win comeback player of the year? Uh, let's see. More than anybody yeah, else. On, stand by. Who else would there be oh, makes other fights. than a guy who dance, comes out at more. age 40 and might, you know, Kirk Cousins is in line for it. Ooh, yeah, that's probably true. Come Let's on, man. See. Let's see. Comeback player of the year is uh, Joe Burrow, Rogers. Okay, please. Two to one. Kirk Cousins, six to one. Do you know how? Daniel Jones, twenty-three to one. Great odds. Do you know how much he has to do to outperform Rogers, Burrow, and who else? Who's the other one? Glenn What's or Nuts. <laughs> Glenn What's or Nuts. <laughs> Wow, Jay Phillips. That's the other one. <laughs> Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Kirk Cousins. Yeah. He, he would have Even to. Anthony Richardson. To out, Anthony, Richardson. Yeah, Anthony Richardson. He would have to outplay Nick those guys. Nick Chubb 8,000 pounds Significantly. Day. Russell Wilson? Come what? back from what? Bench? Thinking? I Thinking? think there's a better chance of no, uh, no, Brian Dable on. breaking seven seconds running a 40 ah. with, his new, <laughs> with his new body. Ah. If you want to do what's more likely, that's, that, that's more likely. If there's some good chicken wings on the other side. And not because be. Jones can't do it. It's because I just named you the competition yeah. for the category. What else, Chris? Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just Good one. These Rich, are all good ones. Rich, These mid, are great. Mid-July topic. These are great. Yeah, no, yeah, the, yeah. D- dude, don't. Okay. By the way, right. by the way, own it. Don't, don't oh, I'm back gonna, down. By the way, I, uh, spoil, uh, just a little teaser for our season preview pot. I'm going to double down on that. And Very good. On okay. Put all a right. pin in it. Uh, put a pin in it. All right. After uh, a little basketball here. Hey, Feli. After embarrassing showings over the weekend. Honestly, embarrassing. Team USA wins by one point. Over, they're 43 point favorites. That's fine. And the women got beat by the, the players they didn't want. Neither men or women are winning gold. In That's Paris. so ridiculous. <laughs> Neither. By the way, is it not? Neither. Am I not mistaken, TJ, yes, that for the previous Olympics, the WNBA All Stars beat the U.S. Yes. women's national team? And then, and and then, then what the, did they do? That was the closest game they okay. had, period. Neither. Let's just put it this way. It took Caitlin and Ainge. Here are here are words I've I mean, never said. I've never said before. They're performing. Wale, did I say her name right? Yeah. She had like eight thousand points. Here's words I've never said before. <laughs> the men's national team's performance against South Sudan leaves some concerns. Right? Not really. But. They Come should on. have lost. The guy had an eight-foot floater to Great. win the game. It's yeah, just, and he had to shoot over one of the best defensive players in the world, and he couldn't. Affected the shot, so, so they lost. Make the shot. Total overreaction. What else? You got one more. Uh, I, 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 LeBron James was the best player on I that know. team. After what by the I way, saw. did you see he's carrying the flag? First, 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 first basketball oh player Pretty cool. ever. Pretty cool to do that. Pretty cool. Last one. Um, the home run derby next year in the Major League All Star Game. We'll, let's get a little boost. What do you it got? should just be Judge versus Otani. That should be it. Just those two guys. Get it out of the way. One home run derby. Let's get the big stars. Whoever wants to see anyway. All due respect to Teos. How about this? Just Judge versus Otani. I like it. Who can hit it the furthest? I like it. I like it. Um, two things. It would be difficult to plan for that. And then one of them, you know, is injured. Heaven forbid. 
So that's that's a problem. You're, you're leaving yourself no backstop. But what they should do is something like that. But also, how does the skills challenge go? Get me O'Neill Cruz and get me Ellie Dela Cruz. Yeah, run around the bases. No, 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 no just fastest or throw, throw the hardest. Yeah. And the, uh, is it is it the Japanese league or the Korean league or maybe both that has like a bunting contest? Oh yeah, and you try to get it. Where you bunt it in, into the bullseye, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. it's sort of like curling. Exactly. But you know, without the brooms yep. and with a bat. I want the Tom Amansky stuff. Give me some in the outfield. Throw yes. it into a trash can. Yes. Let's yes. do all of it. Let's do it. Way more fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well done. That, that's being disrespectful to Pete Alonso right the, there. Okay. Um, by the way. How, did he win? I forgot. Did he win the <laughs> Elmer Derby? Two. He's won two. <laughs> did he win so, the you know. He's won two of them. What are we doing? Yeah, by the way, that's that's where you play the Tim Ol- Tim Oliphant drop about, you know, nobody, nobody cares. cares. Nobody about. cares. <laughs> <laughs> Just for TJ Jefferson. You guys, are, we got we got a man from Queens about to be nobody on the show about. soon. Okay, that's, I don't, yeah, I know. That's later on in the week for sure. Uh, hey, listen, uh, Overreaction Monday podcast returns next week. And then uh, middle of August every week. We're coming back. We're back, baby. Yeah, and season two of What the Football with Susie and Amy also starting next month. Let's go. And a lot of other news to come. I don't want to keep teasing. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.